Hello, my name is Juan, and this is my video for the mathematics PhD application at NYU. So first of all, I would like to discuss about my goals and objectives. In this case, my objectives are to develop and refine my mathematical knowledge and to acquire a high level understanding in some of the deepest and advanced areas in mathematics. Um, with this, to be able to tackle all kinds of different problems, especially the ones related with the financial industry or in the financial context. I choose NYU Courant because I would like to study at the best Institute of Applied Mathematics. I would like to become an excellent quant, an excellent mathematician. So this is the reason, the main reason why I choose Courant to study at. Uh, this decision has been backed by the fact that Courant has a renowned faculty. Uh, they have excelled for a long time uh, with their experience in research and the rigorous, like they have a lot of rigorous classes, a lot of rigorous uh, methods to learn. And if I want to become uh, the best in something, I think that a very important factor is to at least try to study at the best university that offers you that. In this case, I choose the density theorem because it represents how infinite or dense are the rational numbers in the real number line. And I consider that this reflect a deep insight into the nature of real numbers and the relationship with other number sets. The theorem says that if we have x and y real numbers, such that x is strictly less than y, then there exists a rational number r, such that we can put this rational number between both x and y. Okay, for the proof, we have that if x is less than y, that's our hypothesis. Then we have that y minus x is greater than zero. And this is by ordered field axioms. And if this happens, then we have a Archimedean property consequence that says that for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number such that one over n is less than epsilon. So we can generalize this and say that there exists a natural number n such that one over n is less than y minus x. Why this is true? Because y minus x, as we have defined it here, is greater than zero, extremely greater than zero. So we take this y minus x as our epsilon here. And we continue the proof. We multiply both sides by n without affecting it because n is positive, n is a natural number. And then we modify a little bit. We add nx both sides and we end up with this inequality. Now there is another property, another consequence of the Archimedean property that says that if we have like for all x in R, so for our, all x real number, there exists a natural number, I mean an uh, integer, there exists an integer such that this number, like this, this uh, real number is between the integer and the integer plus one. It's strictly, it's strictly less and greater or equal than the integer. So applying this property here, we will have that m is the, like the least bound and m plus one will the upper bound and then doing a little bit modification so we add in one uh, to this inequality we will have the following inequality here and now uh, if we take this inequality here we notice that nx plus one is the same as one plus nx and this is a strictly less than ny so that's why we have ny here and we combine this inequality with this inequality and we will get this inequality and here we can just take the outers we take the outer and we keep with n plus one. And when doing when doing that, if we divide by n both the, all the inequality, and we can do that because n is a natural number, so it's different than zero, we will end up having this. And with that, we can, we, we have proved that there exists uh, n prime and n in integers, such that n is different than zero and r is equal to n prime over n.